Ridgeside K9, Kennel Hack. I want to show you something that's cool. As the sun comes back in, it starts to get hot, guys. It's about 84 degrees outside right now. Uh, heat came on pretty quick, had a thunderstorm. It's real humid, real hot, real sticky. Let me show you a couple of tricks I use to keep the kennel cool. If you can use them to keep your kennel cool, then use them. And um, if it helps you out, saves you some money, win, win, win. All right, hang tight one second. I'm going to turn off all these fans so you can hear me. Hold on. All right, guys, just turned off the fans. Now you can hear me. Make sure you go buy some of these guys. Check out this hat. Keep the head cool. Keep the head shade. We got vents. We got draw strength. Look at that logo. <laughs> awesome booty, man. Keeps your whole head out of the sun. Okay, first and foremost, if you build a kennel, build tall ceilings, guys. We have 10 and a half foot ceilings here. It allows that heat to go up. One thing I would do different is I put an exhaust fan in the ceiling. Haven't done it, um, but it's okay the way it is, right? Now, in the summertime, be very careful running ceiling fans. Where's it at? Right there. Ceiling fan, there. I got a couple of them. I got one there. I got one over behind me. Remember, though, all the hot air rises. So if you kick that fan up and it's pushing all that hot air back down, you're, you're, you're hurting your cooling efforts. So, really quick, let me walk over here, take a look at this thermometer. Again, remember, it's 84 outside. Hopefully, this will come in nice and clear. You'll be able to see it. Focus, focus, focus. And I believe it's 65 inside. So again, inside air temperature of 65, outside air temperature of 84. That's not bad. The one way I do it, one of the tricks I use is this commercial fan. Looks simple, and it is. But by design, I have kept the floor of my kennel, for the most part, all concrete. I have not matted out the whole thing. I only have mats where I need them, basically under kennels. I have a dry station right there for dogs to stand on. I have mats back in my workout area. But short of that, I keep an open concrete floor. The reason for that, concrete is a thermal mass. Concrete can act like a thermal mass. Meaning, if I keep shady in here, no sunlight obviously, it's inside. Concrete cannot heat up. So concrete maintains the ground temperature. And then by forcing air over the concrete towards the dogs, it's almost like a free form of air conditioning. Not as powerful as AC, but it does a hell of a job keeping it cool. Now. On the side of that, I have two of these. I only have one in here right now because it just has not June yet. But this little AC unit with that little floor fan, 65 inside, 84 outside. It's pretty cool. Now, one of the tricks you can always do with these ACs, guys, to really make these run a lot more efficient is put them right next to the window. You see a lot of people using these floor AC units, and they're pretty good now. And they have this uh, tube. It's all spun up and spun out. All that's doing is putting a lot of that heat right back in the air. You're sucking it out, you're conditioning it, and then you're putting the heat right back in. So one of the best ways, the most efficient way to run a, a window unit like this and not an insert is to have that tube right there straight outside. Obviously, it's a little bit better if you... Sorry, I had to kennel open. I had to hit pause. But uh, you want that heat to get back outside as quickly as you can. Now, one of the awesome things, guys, is we always have a full kennel here, but as I walk around, you don't see anybody back flipping, acting a fool, acting crazy. I actually woke everybody up by coming in here. Keep the lights low, keep the fans high, keep the ambient air temperature cool, your dogs will go to sleep. Again, get you some of them hats. Yee Looking pretty good. Richside K9, if I can help you guys with any ideas, I'll give you all the ideas I've learned, guys. I've made a million mistakes with this kennel. Obviously, we're not a kennel, we're a training facility, but I've made a million mistakes with this, and I finally have it working right where it kind of runs itself. So. If you ever need any advice, let me know. You're worried about skin cancer, keeping your head good, good? There you go. Go on the Facebook page, buy you about 50 of them. We'd appreciate it. Just kidding. I'm serious. Anyway, Rich Side Canine, let us know. We can help you. House pets to working dogs. Obedience to protection. We take them all.